Hey there, this is my second video about my Google Summer of Code project to improve note entry within MuseScore, a free open source sheet music editor for Windows, Mac and Linux. In my first video, I told you about my project and about how it improves upon MuseScore's existing note entry method. If you've used MuseScore at all, you'll know that you can enter notes using the keyboard uh, using the mouse or the keyboard, you can use a, a MIDI keyboard. But whenever you want to enter a different rhythm, you have to return back to the normal mouse or keyboard. And this can be quite tiring if you're entering a piece with lots of complicated rhythms. Uh, then swapping back and forth uh, isn't particularly fun. But for the past couple of weeks, I've been working on MuseScore and here's a development build that shows my new features. So the first thing you'll notice is that the uh, Note Input button has now become a menu, and if you hold it, it will give you options for all the different Note Entry modes that I've implemented. So Step Time mode is the one that you'll be familiar with, and as well as Repitch mode, but the rest are all new. So I'll show you the Automatic Real-Time mode first. So if we go into that mode, then we choose a duration from the toolbar, and now MuseScore will start playing a series of clicks. And if I hold down a, a pitch on the keyboard, then it gets played in time with the clicks. And of course, I can hold down uh, multiple pitches to enter a chord. And if I let go of everything, then I'll just get rests naturally. And so that's the, uh, so what is not implemented yet is the simplification of these rhythms. So you can see that we just get um, a series of notes uh, that are tied together rather than uh, one long note. So if I go to File, Export, and save this as a MIDI file, and then open it again, then you'll see that it's the same file, but those uh, rhythms have been simplified. Um, and this is something that I'll be doing over the next couple of weeks to make this happen automatically. So that was the automatic version of the real-time mode. So now I'll show you the manual version. So the manual version works in just the same way as the automatic version except when uh, the clicks don't happen um, automatically, the clicks are now triggered by pressing the uh, sustain pedal or another control if you set it something else. So if I press the pedal down, then I get a, uh, a rest, and if I release it, then I get another. And that will be configurable in the options, whether releasing it creates another rest or not. But this allows me to play the piece at my own speed. So this means that I can speed up and slow down as required to play sections of music that might be easier or are more difficult to play. So the final new mode that I've implemented is uh, the, the rhythm mode. And this was actually inspired by a similar mode in another uh, sheet music notation program called Denimo. Denimo is actually a front end for Lillipond. So I'll show you how this new mode works then within MuseScore. So firstly you have to enter rhythm mode. And now we enter rhythms using the, the same numeric keypad shortcuts that you use to swap between them within normal mode. So if I press a 5, then it enters the crotchet to the score. And if I press a 4, then we get quavers. And a 6, and you get a minim. And there's also shortcuts. The shortcut zero takes you to entering rests instead of notes. And then you press it again to go back into entering notes. And if you press the dot or the, the period, then that gives you a dotted note. And again, turns off the dotted note uh, so that you can enter ordinary notes again. So there's still a few decisions to make in this mode. So like I showed you at the moment, um, pressing those keys uh, toggles on and off the dots and the rest, but perhaps it would make more sense to hold them down rather than to toggle. 
and uh, so that's something I'll be thinking about. So once you have the rhythm in the score, then you can change to re-pitch mode and go back and play the pitches on the keyboard. And you don't have to be accurate at all with um, the rhythm that you're playing. As long as you play the notes in the right order, they will appear in the score as you play them. So that's the three modes that I've implemented so far, and there's still quite a bit of work to do over the coming weeks, which you can uh, check up with on my blog or in future videos right here. Thanks for watching.